Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Gilmore here for a, another video, my second video of the day. This time on the main channel, Killer of Demons 669. Thank you for watching, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel and my other channels which are down there in the description box. And you know what to do, follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Share the video all over the internet, tap the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss a goddamn thing. And if you do, well, search my channels and... Go to my video or live section, and you'll see the latest video. And um, that's pretty much it. You lose, you you snooze, you lose. And that's pretty much it. And we move on. All right, I taped one before, and it went over my time limit. I have thirty three minutes of my time, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, for those of you who are asking why am I not going live, um. Just watch a couple of videos ago. I mentioned it already, but I mentioned it again. Uh, we're going live in 2023. I'm gonna take some time off and doing live videos for the for the, for the next couple of weeks. But I will be coming back to live videos uh, for a little for a little bit in January, probably January the third. I'm gonna try to get a, um, a live video up for Monday Night Raw, and then um, hopefully we'll we'll be going live almost all the time like we used to do. But we'll see what happens with that. But I'm just taking time off from doing live videos. I'm just doing regular thought videos. I know I only can do like a half hour because of my phone. I would do it on StreamYard, but StreamYard is, you know, would make me do live videos. Um, but like I said, I don't use StreamYard anymore. I used to use it, now I don't use it anymore. Because I, I think it's pointless and worthless. You know, even though I can use it for free, but I just don't like streaming because my computer sometimes messes up with it. But I rather do, I rather just do it off the phone. So you know, I can use YouTube Live and I can get, I can, uh, you know, I can get the comments like right there. I can't show it obviously like Streamio does, so I know people want to see the comments. But if you if you follow along live on YouTube, then you could do that, so you don't have to worry about that. So, but it is. What it is, honestly. All right, so we move on from that. So live videos will be back January the third, two thousand and twenty-three. When <laughs> you have to find out. But we're gonna try to get back to live videos, and uh, we'll see what happens with that when we move on into two thousand twenty-three. Uh, just want to focus on myself and my 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 video. My main main thing is I want to focus on myself and kind of. Keep stepping back away from YouTube because eventually I'm gonna be out of here. So not for long, but you know, I'm taking my break after Christmas. So two more weeks, and then um next week's full week of videos, and then Christmas week's worth of videos. So after my after uh, Christmas Eve, which is the greatest thing in the world, we all know that. Um, after that video, I will be off of YouTube for. About a little over eight, nine days. Probably eight, seven, between a week and nine days. I'll be off about nine days. No videos at all. Um, I might do one community post. That'll be on New Year's Eve. Just to wish everybody a happy new year. And then that's it. You won't see me doing a video. I don't care if somebody made you died. Um, but... That'll be it. I might, if somebody major died between now and, you know, the end of the year or at, during my break, I'll just throw maybe a community post up saying, hey, this, you know, my condolences go out to whoever, you know. And we lost somebody today, Christy Alley from Cheers and Luke Who's Talking, you know, the mama from Luke Who's Talking. And, uh, you know, she, she was on Cheers. She's been in other uh, various shows. So she died at, at 71 today due to cancer, so my thoughts and prayers go out to Christy Alley and her family and the fans of Cheers and the fans who watched the Look Who's Talking movies, you know, with John Travolta in it, and um, uh, Bruce Willis as the voice of Mikey in the first one, and then you had, uh, you had uh, Joan Rivers as the voice of the baby in the, in the uh, at the, uh, I believe the end of the first one. Yeah, be at the end of the first one, then it became Roseanne in the second one, which made no freaking sense. Okay, but yeah, the first three of them were pretty damn, were pretty good. I think the first and second one were pretty funny. The third one was kind of dumb, but 
It is what it is. But those are classic movies. But, you know, Christy Alley, a great actress, you know, did, did a lot of weight loss commercials, too. So there you go. But she died at 71 due to cancer. So my thoughts and prayers go out to the Christy Alley family and her fans. And that's pretty much it for that. All right. So in, down below is my Justin Verlander video. The Mets signed Justin Verlander today. Two years, 86 million. So check that video out down below. And that's it. All right. Let's get to your Monday night raw review thoughts. You understand? So Raw was pretty damn good. Came your way from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. Kevin Patrick and Corey Graves at ringside. So we started off with a promo from the Usos and Solo Sokoa and the and and the Usos and Sami Zayn, of course. Uh, they come they come to the arena earlier in the day. Uh, Riddle tries to you know tries to hit them and everything, but you know. He, like, zooms past them. They get all pissed off at Riddle. And then Elias comes out to try to shut them up. He gets beat down and taken out of the match. And then they go to they go to live action. And the the Usos are saying, well, since Elias can't fight. I was like, who? It's like, anybody in the back, you can fight up with Riddle or whatever. And then Kevin Owens comes out. After a little, uh, nice little promo from Sammy saying, saying, I'm feeling pretty Usy. You know, the Usos being the longest reigning tag team champions. That's, that's freaking Usy. Says, says, I'm so Usy, you can call me an Usologist. <laughs> an Usologist. Sammy Zane has to win freaking wrestler of the year. If it's not, well, we all know it's probably going to be Roman, but I think... I think if they did a Sammy Award right now, I don't know if you know they do the Sammy Awards anymore, but if they did, Sammy Zayn should at least be nominated for Wrestler of the Year, if not win it. Because he has come a long way this, this whole, just about this whole year. We're coming into the bloodline. The storyline with the bloodline is so freaking great. I can only imagine what's going to be after the uh, going into the Royal Rumble and coming out of it, which will probably be the end of the storyline. With the eventual turn of the bloodline on Sammy. Sammy gets back with Kevin. Sammy and Kevin win the tag belts from the Usos at WrestleMania. And then Roman will probably lose to Cody on night one and then beat The Rock on night two. But it is what it is. But the idea I had for Roman wrestling on both shows is... What I would do is have Roman defend the WWE title, let him lose to Cody, I'm okay with that, and let him hold the Universal title for as long as he wants, because he's not going to lose to The Rock, they should do double a double title match, even though you really don't need it for The Rock, I mean, because it doesn't need to be for the title, it just speaks for itself, so let Cody win night one, win the WWE title, break those titles up. You don't have to give him the unified titles because it'll make no sense because there still won't be a title on Monday Night Raw anyway. I don't think Cody's going to do double duty, go to do Monday Night and Friday Night. But I would just, you know, split the ta split the belts up again. Get, get rid of the unified. Just split them up. The same thing with the tag belts. I think the un this unification shit should just end. Just have two shows, one belt. One belt for each. Like it used to be. But I don't know what, what Hunter's going to do regarding Roman and the belts come WrestleMania. But we'll see. But looks like Cody's going to be the one to beat Roman. It's going to suck! And that's it. Alright, so we move on from there. Alright, so, uh, so then we get Kevin Owens and Matt Riddle taking on the Usos for the tag team belts. Match is okay. Uh, Sol Sokoa and Owens get into a little staring contest. And then Riddle hits Solo with a, with a flippy dippy de doo as Jey Uso was being pulled by Sammy. And then in the end, a blind tag to Jimmy leads to a 1D on Riddle. 1, 2, 3. The Usos retain the tag team belts. In a pretty decent match. I gave 3 out of 5 stars. That's that. Afterwards, the Usos go after Riddle again. With Solo's help, and Sammy, I think, was there, too, to help. And then Kevin Owens comes back with a chair to run them all off. Except for Solo, who stays at ringside. And then he beats the fuck out of Riddle. Takes, a, takes his Samoan spike. 
Pays homage to, oh, pays homage to Umaga. Hits the small spike. Then he hits the running Umaga attack in the corner. But he's not done yet. He takes the chair, wraps around Riddle's head. Then he hits another Umaga attack. Ooh. And lays out Riddle, who has to be stretched out the building and taken to a local medical facility. So, bye-bye, so long, farewell, Riddle and Elias. Gone. Good night. And that's pretty much it. But I'd like to see Soul Sokoa and Kevin Owens get at, go at it. I'd love to see that. We'll see what happens with that. Alright, then we have Rhea Ripley getting ready for her triple threat match with Bailey and Asuka. Uh, basically saying, that, hey, Bailey and Asuka, you're great, but you're not Rhea Bloody Ripley. And I'm coming for Bianca Belair's title after I win. And everyone will be calling her Mommy. And then she starts whispering in Dominic's, Dominic Guerrero's ear, I'm going to suck your dick. Probably something like that. I don't know. But. So she's going to go out on her own. And we'll see what happens in that match coming up. And I give that 2.25 out of 5 stars. Alright, then we have the poker tournament with JBL. Uh, we have uh, some random people there, like the Alpha Academy. Uh, Shelton Benjamin was there with Tamina and Dana Brooke. Akira Dozawa was there. Uh, Dominic Guerrero was there for some odd reason. I mean, he can play. He's legal. So, he's 25, 26, and he can play poker and drink. So, we had uh, the OC... AJ and, and the Good Brothers along with Mia Yim. Mia and Shelton in the same segment? Uh-uh. That's, that's kind of weird. Anyway, Dexter and Johnny Gogano come in. JBL's like, I don't think you can play. Do you know what you know how to play? So Dexter's like, he, he like takes the Miz's money, throws it on the table. Like, and then JB's like, okay, deal man. And then we see Joey Ace, my buddy from Warriors of Wrestling, dealing out the cards. So we see uh, Jade, the Warriors of Wrestling, Women's champion who got the fuck kicked out of her by Mr. Darius Carter over the weekend. But great to see them on, on TV once again. I didn't recognize Joey Ace for a second. I was like, wait a minute, is that Joey Ace without the beard? But Joey Ace and Jade. Good shit. I want to see more of it when when they're in the Northeast. Or if they get on get on Raw. But yeah. Great to see two former, uh, well, one current champion and a former Triple Crown champion for Warriors of Wrestling. But we all, we get that. So, good times, good times. All right. So, this whole poker tournament was kind of corny. Uh, Dexter wins the tournament, obviously. I mean, he, had a, he put an axe on the, on the freaking table. Um, he beats he beats Corbin in a, in a, in a hand. And then... Uh, uh, Akira Dozawa wins a hand against Dominic and accuses him of lying, cheating, and stealing. And then a match is set up with them. And then the OC and Corbin and the Alpha Academy get into a fight. JBL screaming at them and saying, No fighting! And then they have a six man tag team match coming up. And then the Miz tries to come in and he tries to offer his, his watch to JBL. And JBL's like, uh, No, this is fake, dude. You're not in. Get out of here. So Dexter eventually wins the tournament, and I could care less about this fucking shit. So I gave all that a big fat dud. Zero. And we move on. Alright, so then we get the Bailey, Rhea Ripley, and Asuka. Pretty good match. Uh Bailey wins after pinning Asuka with the Rose Plant. One, two, three. So Bailey will go on to face either Becky Lynch, Nikki Cross, or Alexa Bliss next week. And the winner of that. Faces Bianca Belair for the War Women's Championship. Probably at the Rumble. But we'll see what happens with that. So I gave that match 2.25 out of 5 stars. There was a botch in there. Uh, Asuka was trying to hit Rhea Ripley. Um, you know, trying to She tried to step on Bailey's back. And I think she slipped and kind of fell backwards. So I took some points off of that. So but still, it was a pretty eh match. But Bailey wins, and we'll see who she faces after. Uh, after the match, Rhea Ripley unloads on Asuka, so you know that match is going to happen next week. So, we'll see what happens with that. Alright, then we find out that Butch is going to take take the place of Drew McIntyre in the match. That was supposed to be Drew and Sheamus taking on the Usos for the tag belts. Now it's Butch and Sheamus with Ridge Holland taking on the Usos 
most likely with Sammy and Solo Sokola at ringside. And that's going to happen this Friday night on the program, and that's it. All right, there we got Seth freaking Rollins coming out, hyping his number one contenders match with my man, Lashley. Lashley comes out and uh, kind of pissed off at Seth. Seth starts bringing up that that Lashley can't be, is scared of Brock Lesnar and thinks he's jealous of Brock. And then Rollins is just like grabs him by the collar and he starts shaking him. He's like, "You son of a bitch!" And then eventually uh, they get the, they get a big youngest brawl, which ends with PD fucking Williams getting speared in half by Lashley as he's trying to go for the spear on Seth. Right in front of Adam Pearce, which le left him really upset. And then later on, we see Adam Pearce talking to Bobby, and he's, you know, he's still kind of pissed off at Bobby. Bobby's like, well, maybe not. don't have your guys around next, next time, and he won't get hurt. So, Adam Pearce was about to fire or maybe suspend Bobby and take him out of the match, but the match is still going to happen next week. So, there you go. So, that whole thing was just a lead into... Uh, next week's match, which should be a pretty good match in itself. So I gave that segment three out of five stars. Then we have Austin Theory saying, uh, my forever reign has just begun. Mustafa, Mustafa Ali comes in. He wants another opportunity at the belt. And Theory's like, okay, I'll give you another opportunity, but if you lose, you get nothing else. That's it. So we get that. And then we get to their match. Well, I, well yeah, we get to their match. And it was an okay match. Looked like Ali was about to win. He had, the D he had a tornado DDT. He hit it for a near fall. Uh, Theory fights back. But then Dolph Ziggler comes in and hits a super kick on Theory. Causes the disqualification, which sucks. So, so Theory wins by disqualification. So, bye-bye your opportunity there, Ali. Or, do, or So we thought... So the match I gave uh, 2.25 out of 5 stars. Afterwards, Ali starts yelling at Ziggy for crossing in the match. There he runs both of them over. Then he hits the A-Town down on Ziggler. So it looks like we might get a triple threat match coming up for the U.S. title again. Well, how many more U.S. title matches we need that are triple threat matches? Stupid. Just have it one-on-one, -on -one, please. That's all I ask. But... That's that. All right, so we have we have all that. Um. All right. After that, we have Kathy Kelly and Bianca Belair. She's Bianca Belair. She plays for the hair. It's actually her hair. She's Bianca Belair. So Bianca's ready for whoever wins the uh the title the uh the title shot, whether it be Bailey who won it or Becky, Nikki Cross or Alexa uh, Alexa Bliss. So the winner of that. Will face Bianca probably for the title at the Royal Rumble, and I'm thinking it's gonna be Bianca versus Bailey again. But is there gonna be a big stipulation in this, or what's gonna happen? I don't know. They're thinking about they were teasing a Hell in a Cell match at the Rumble, maybe for that or something else. I don't know, but we'll see what happens with that. So I get that 2.25 out of five stars. All right, there we go. Get a recap of Solo Sokoa destroying Matt Riddle, putting him in the hospital. We got that. All right, then we have the OC AJ Styles and the Good Brothers, Gals and Anderson, taking on Baron Storm and Corbin and the Alpha Academy. Shush! Shush, please! Oh, thank you. So, so we had uh, Mia Yim at ringside, along with KBL on commentary. It wasn't a great match, um, but it all broke down, and in the end, the OC get the win after Gals and Anderson hit Chad Gable with the Magic Killer in 14 and a half minutes. And the match gave 2.25 out of 5 stars. That's it. Nothing to see. And that's it. Alright, then we got Candice DeRay in the back fighting. Uh, she wants to fight harder now that she's a mom. After getting taken out by Damage Control and coming back a couple weeks ago. Then we see Dexter and Johnny Gogano come in. And Candice is like, hey, how you how'd you guys do at the at the poker game? And then Dexter shows Candice the, the, a big bag of money. It's like a lot of money in there. And Candice is like, holy shit! And you know her husband's like, don't say that word. We're on PG. So she's all shocked at how much money Dexter won playing poker. So they leave. They're probably gonna go out and buy baby clothes. Who cares? So I gave it 2.25 out of 5 stars. And that's it. 
Then we get to Dominic Myster Dominic Guerrero, not Mysterio, uh, taking on Akira Dozawa, Max Stunk. Basically, Akira Dozawa got squashed like a bug. As uh, Dominic hit the three amigos, Eddie Galero ese. Then he goes up top, hits the Eddie Galero ese. Latino eat. Frog splash, even though it didn't look that great, but still got the job done. Dominic Guerrero beans, wins the match over Akira Dozawa in a match that gave 2.25 out of 5 stars. Afterwards, Judgment Day was at ringside. Rhea Ripley, da uh, Damian Priest, and Fiend Balor, they beat down on Akira Dozawa until the Street Profits come out for the save. So it looks like the Street Profits are going to have a little bit of a tag team feud with two two members of Judgment Day. Probably be Finn Balor and Damian Priest. I don't think Dominic would even want to be tagging with these guys against the Street Profits. But, yeah. Eh, it is what it is. And um, that's pretty much it. All right, then, as I mentioned, Adam Pearce starts yelling at Bobby Lash for spearing uh, P.D. Williams early in the night. And he was about to suspend or possibly fire Bobby Lashley. Uh, but Bobby's like, I don't care what you do. Just don't have your friends. It's not going to happen again. Just don't have your friends around here again. But Adam Pearce like, well, if it happens again, things are going to get bad. So, so we'll see what happens month, next Monday night from Midday Walk A, which means the good land. If you watch Wayne's World, you know where that reference comes from. And that's pretty much it. So next week in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Bobby Lashley and Seth Rollins, number one contenders match to see who faces off against Austin Theory in the U.S. title. So I got two big number one contenders matches next week. And we're going to we get who Bailey faces in just a minute. So Bailey will be facing either Becky Lynch, the man, Alexa Bliss, or Nikki Cross. Uh, this match was okay. Another botch, um, as uh, I think Le I think um, Lexi tried to hit uh, Nikki and kind of fell on Becky. I mean, they really know how to do try to try to learn how to do poetry and emotion a little bit better. Just saying. Um, got a nice Tower of Doom spot with, by Becky gives her a near fall on Nikki. But didn't last long as Nikki comes right back to crossbody Becky against the apron. Ow! That hurt. But they get near the end, and um, uh, Nikki has Becky as Alexa in the Hangman's DDT. She's about to swing it around, you know, like she does. Becky comes off with a double leg drop to Alexa's uh, to Lexi's back, which led into a DDT. Becky goes for the cover on Lexi, and she, and Lexi kicked out at two. And then Nikki Cross and Becky go on the apron. Nikki tries for a power driver on the apron, but that didn't work. And then Becky picks up Nikki and hits a really sloppy, botch, botchamania-worthy manhandle slam on the apron. And then uh, she tries for the cover, and Nikki rolls away. And then Dakota Kai and Io come out. They jump Becky, pull her out to the ringside, and they just beat the shit out of her by the barricade. Then they pick her up and powerbomb her through the announcer's table. Did not hit Corey Graves? Damn. So we got that. Um, so that, that leaves Becky Lane. Now, in the ring, Lexi takes control of Nikki Cross, and she goes on top hits Twisted Bliss. For the win, one, two, three. So Lexi did it, and she will take on Bailey. Don't give me a hug. This Monday night on Raw from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and the winner will face Bianca Belair for her women's championship, probably at the Royal Rumble. And we'll see what happens with that as we get there. So it was a pretty good, um, pretty pretty decent match. I gave it three out of uh, two point five out of five stars. And that's it. But Monday Night Raw was kind of a snore fest. Kind of mid, mid, mid. So I'm going to give it a right down the middle, daddy. Right down the middle, daddy. Like Bill Alfonso says. And I gave it 5 out of 10 stars. But let me know what you guys thought of the show in a comment or a video reply if you wish. There was also a segment with where Lexi was getting ready. We saw the Bray Wyatt logo appear in the background. Still furthering 
Beck, uh, excuse me, Lexi turning back to her evil Miss Bliss gimmick, which I think she really needs to do, go back to, because I don't know where she is right now, besides getting a no more contender shot, which she will not win, most likely. So it looks like Bailey and Bianca will do it one more time at the Royal Rumble and probably a stipulation match, whether it be, probably be, uh, I think this will probably be the end of the feud, so it has to end in Hell in a Cell, or at least a cage. But we'll see what happens with that when we get there. But that's it for Monday Night Raw. Like I said, 5 out of 10 stars. And uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. And uh, don't forget to smash that bell. So on all notifications, you don't miss a goddamn thing. Uh, if not, just search my channels. Go to the live section or the video section for my latest video. Uh, continue to subscribe to my channels. All down in the gobbledygook, the description box below. Smash that like that like button, stick straight up the wazoo. Follow me on social media if you're real. If you're not, get the fuck out of here. Go, go do something else. And uh, that's pretty much it. So like, share, subscribe, follow me on social media. Hit that bell so you never miss an upload. That's all you gotta do. And that's it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I'm Peter Goodman signing off. Peace out, rock on, and rock hard with your cook -out. And if you're not down with that, well, that's just too damn bad because I got three words for you. Fuck you, man. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your Monday night and an even better Tuesday. I'll be back tomorrow with your, hopefully tomorrow with your NXT review, if not on Wednesday on the Peter Gilmore channel, where you can watch my latest video, my Justin Verlander to the Mets video. So check that out. The link to that will be in the description box below, so you can't miss it. All right, everybody, I'm going to bed because I got to work tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. I'm Peter Gilmore signing off. Until next time, motherfuckers. Just remember, I'm better than you, and you fucking know it. And remember, fuck you, man, if you're not down with that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace, bitches.